the stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money's coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host, Bill Brandy. And at the end of the day, the consumer looks immensely strong. So much so that many people are willing to quit their jobs. They've got so much in savings. The consumer is in great shape. Balance sheets are in great shape. There are so many people that want to buy cars and houses and, and services and go on vacation. Yeah, really, everybody's in great shape. So why is it? Tell me, why is it? The, the, these these uh, these people make me sick. These jibber jabbers. Why is it then the bank stocks should be going through the roof today? They should be going through the roof <clears throat> because yields are at 186 basis points. They love high yield. Banks make a fortune when yields go up, interest rates go up, and what gets clobbered? Your beloved tech stocks. Everybody's dumping the tech stocks. But now today, they're dumping their bank stocks along with the tech stocks. As I told you last week, the economy no longer can absorb inflation caused by the printing of money to buy treasuries for 14 years to keep interest rates at zero so everybody could get addicted to tech stock rallies. Then, December 20th, Powell turns and switches to the banks. So I'll fix this. I'll just switch to the banks. I'll get the banks rallying. I'll sell treasuries instead of buy them. And the yields will go up. And boom, banks will be in great shape. Don't have to worry. Whoa, that didn't work. The minute he did that, yields started to climb. Oh, the economy said, stop. We can't absorb high yields either, Powell. Or high inflation from the ones that the tech stocks create because you had to print all this money to buy treasuries to go to zero to drive those stocks up. So what is it? Why are the banks all of a sudden collapsing? The market's down 500 points. The Nasdaq's down nearly 300 points. What's going on with the banks? Well, here's what it is. They'll never be truthful with you. Not the, now you, can, you think the jibber-jabbers will be truthful? Well, we'll be truthful with you. The banks are worried sick. Why? Because they have historic corporate debt. Ten trillion. That's just the public companies. That's 48% of our GDP. Now that's a rise of 52% from 2008 when the market crashed. Corporate debt was only about six trillion. About 44% of GDP. We're at 48% of GDP. They're worried sick. They're worried sick because of that corporate debt. They have These banks have been lending these corporations left and right to do stock buybacks. These are highly leveraged zombie companies. Now, remember, the Fed's been propping them up for 14 years by monetizing their debt again. Print more money, print more money, go in and, and go to these bad companies. Instead of going into recession in 2008 to get rid of these bad companies and just stay with the strongs. Oh, no, 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 no. They didn't want to do that. Baby Bush didn't want to do that. Obama didn't want to do that. Oh, no, no, can't, can't touch these uh, banks. They put us in office. They funded us. So here's the problem. You got just ten trillion or forty eight percent of GDP. That's with the public. Now let's add on the small and private companies. Yeah, you gotta add them on. That adds about another five, six trillion. So let's say you got a total of about sixteen trillion. That's seventy four percent of our GDP. What are you nuts? 
You don't hear the jibber-jabbers talking about that, do you? I've been talking about it. Now, here's another big problem. Remember what they've been doing. The massive printing of money. This is our Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve. Well, they've always been wrong. The Federal Reserve, they're so irresponsible. They're there to make money for the one percentile because it's the one percent or the one one hundred one percent to own them. Now let's talk about the consumer debt. We're being told by the jibber jabbers, boy, are they strong. We've never seen anything like it. And at the end of the day, the consumer looks immensely strong. Oh, he's strong. The consumer is in great shape. Balance sheets oh, are in yeah, great shape. Yeah, he's in great shape too. So is the economy, right? I actually think the economy is so strong. Yeah. Mm hmm. We'll see. So what's going on today? If the economy is so strong, why aren't the banks booming? Because I just told you. Now let's talk about the consumer who's so strong. So strong, they don't even have to work anymore. They got so much money in their savings. And at the end of the day, the consumer looks immensely strong. Yeah. So much so that many people are willing to quit their jobs. Yeah, people quitting their jobs left and right. They can retire. They have so much money in their savings and checking accounts. Really? Well, they better use some of that money to pay their historic high consumer debt of $14 trillion. Mortgage loans, auto loans, student loans. They've been piling on that debt, piling on that debt, because it's easy. It's easy. Low rates. Nobody asks what the payment of a car is. They ask what's the late payment. Student loan debt has seen its largest growth ever. Same with mortgage debt, personal debt, all historic. Oh, we're not being told that. Now, here's what the banks are really worried about in that department. People are going out and they're buying everything that's overpriced, just like the stock market. The valuations of these stocks are insane, insane. A car, for heaven's sakes, a used car is up, what, 36%? Homes have gone nuts. Now, here's the big problem. All these people who went out and bought all these homes, and I warned about this, I warned about this. People were buying these homes that went up 20, 30, some places 40%, and they only put down 10%, most of the people, 10%. And they bought homes that are 20 to 30 to 40 percent higher than they should be. That equity is going to get wiped out. We've been there before. God, we've been there before. The clock is coming back to 12. Haven't we learned anything? So when people are running around trying to find houses and you got to run there, if you don't run, if you trip and you got, you're two minutes late, the other guy got it. It's insane here in Sarasota. Oh, my God. They're coming from California. They're coming from all over the place. And I mean, they're out, they're out there fighting. Brokers, I was here first. Keep your client in the car. <laughs> That's what's happening here, honest to God. We were here first. We got the appointment first. Yeah, but you're late. We got the appointment. It's unbelievable. Inflation is the biggest danger to our economy and our security. That's been said for years, 222 years, 47 presidents. This is what they're talking about, what we're seeing right now. And how many of you prepared? How many of you are prepared? How, do you, how many of you know when to get out of a stock? How many? Or how many of you know, okay, I'm going to switch my position and make money as the stock goes down? 80% of you don't. That's why 80% of you lose money in the stock market. Because when the stock doesn't go down anymore, you panic and get out and look to buy another one instead of switching your position and shorting it. For heaven's sakes. Join my gang. You won't have that problem. 877-600-GANG. We'll be right back after this break. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner. 
who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy is going down. That's what it's doing. The economy is going straight down. You know, banks right now the worst ever. They've gone down 40 percent. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market is still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So, if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at PhilsGang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy is going down. That's what it's doing. The economy is going straight down. You know, banks right now, worst ever. They've gone down 40 percent. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So, if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. What if you could have an in-depth understanding of the stock market just like the pros? Well, thanks to Phil Grandy and PhilzGang.com, you can. PhilzGang.com offers comprehensive, up-to-date market information designed to help you understand and anticipate market behavior. With PhilzGang.com, you'll build your investing confidence even through down cycles and periods of uncertainty. Go to PhilzGang.com, PhilzGang.com today, 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor, into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And PhilzGang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the PhilzGang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at PhilzGang.com. That's PhilzGang.com. Or give them a call. 877-600-GANG. Thinking about investing in the stock market? Go to philsgang.com where we have over 50 years experience in trading and investing in the stock market. Philsgang teaches you how to make profits in the market with stock chart analysis, up-to-the-minute alerts, and always keeping you informed with professional guidance and long and short-term positions. Go to philsgang.com or call one of our professional staff to answer your questions. 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Stop wondering about your financial future and start doing something about it. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, $39.95, follow me, I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you is start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Welcome back. 
Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call, 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Okay, do you remember when I said this to you right here? So find a chart, the spiders, SPY is a symbol. Look at the low of 472 and then mark down if the spiders drop back from today from 476.62 to below 470, just below 470, then you see this market sell off. Exactly what I said happened. Okay, I'm giving you another number. Do you remember when it was selling off, all of a sudden the plunger team came in and went nuts and they started to buy options to stop the market from falling. That was on January 10th. And we had a big rally back that day, huge rally back. And then the next day, we opened down 500 points. Then they shot it right back up again because the plunger team again went in and bought futures to stop the sell. Well, I'm going to give you another number. If the spiders break through that low, when the plunger team came in on January 10th, which is 456.60, breaks through there and holds, this market's going to be in big trouble. The Qs, same thing. If you go and take a look, that same date, everything's January 10th. So look at the lows of January 10th on the Qs. That was 369.31. The spiders again. Okay, that same date, January 10th, 456.60, it's over. But they're going to do everything they can. Remember I told you, we didn't want to drop. We wanted to rally it back up and give us a lower high. And that's what we got out of the spiders. If you recall, I said the high was at 479.98, so let's say 480. And then when she dropped to a low... A 456.60, I told my gang members, we don't, it was great, we're making money, but I said, I don't want this to go any lower. We need it to rally back up because you got to test 480. Every test is at the top, 480. It failed. It failed. It tried, but the highest it could get on, this, on uh, the spiders was 473, 473.20. It couldn't get back to the high. A 479 or say 480. The Q's, real trouble. Same thing. They hit the high. If you go back to November, this is when they started to fall apart in November. And that's when Powell started to get worried. They still haven't made it back to that date. And then, of course, it hit a new low on January 10th, as I'm talking about. So, January 10th, your spiders. And the Qs all hit new lows. They all rallied back up, making that beautiful pattern of a lower high. Now they got to break that low. So they're going to do everything they can for the next week to try to make sure that doesn't happen. But be patient because it's over. This Federal Reserve is unbelievable. I've said it over and over. They got to get rid of the Federal Reserve. It has no accountability to us, to Congress. Not even the President of the United States. Even its name, the Federal Reserve, is a fraud, a deception designed to make us think the Federal Reserve is something that it's not. The Federal Reserve is not our friend. The Federal Reserve does whatever it does, it can do to make sure the very, very wealthy get more wealth, get even more wealth. It all has to do with rates. With rates, keep lowering those rates, which creates inflation. Used cars up 45%, gasoline up 58%. Biden, Biden, he's responsible for, he, he wants, he's raising, if you live in a flood, where you need flood insurance rather, you live where you need flood insurance, about 1000 a year average, it's going to 5000 a year. Inflation is the biggest danger to our economy. New England, my brother lives in New England, he called me over the weekend. He was paying $43 for per megawatt for electricity. It's up to 227 dot megawatt. 227 from 43. I don't know what percentage that is, but that's got to be huge. We're starting to see gasoline. We're starting to see crude oil. Inventory start building. What's that tell you? 
That's a four and twenty. Thank you. It's four and twenty percent gain. I, I, this is over the weekend, not over weeks. One day, two days. We are starting to see gasoline and crude oil inventories build. You say, oh, thank God. No, that's telling us, just like we saw in 2008 before the crash, consumers are cutting back on driving. They're cutting back on energy. They have a problem. Inflation is killing them. The only thing that's been keeping these people alive is, again, this low rates, low rates, but now, like the banks, the reason why the banks are dropping, as I told you, they know they got problems with auto loans. They know they got big problems with house loans. The auto loans and home, they're so overpriced that people are just going to walk away. Here we go again. By the rich get richer. And remember what Obama did. He took care of his pals. He took care of his pals. All the big home builders, Buffett, the rest of them. He said, I'll sell you those houses. They're all, all foreclosed. We had like $8 trillion foreclosures. He said, I'll sell them to you for pennies on the dollar and you can rent them. Remember that? Rent them and sell them years later. So that's where we stand right now. So all I can tell you is this. Please. Use the 10 days you have that's free here at Phil's Gang. And you'll see how easy it is to switch your position to make money when a stock is going down. That's called shorting. Can you imagine you get into a stock and you're up 10%, 15%, and all of a sudden it's going down and you get out. You don't know how to short. You get, now you got to look for another stock. Well, any other stock you're getting into is overpriced for heaven's sakes. That's why 80% don't make money in the stock market. If you're going to get out of a stock, oh, it's going down, I'm going to out take my profits. Then you go look for another one. But it's too high. It's too high. Instead, all you have to do is, it's so easy, like flicking a light switch, just reverse your position. That's all you have to do. Join my gang, free for 10 days, 877-600-GANG. Please learn how to protect yourself with a short position. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. 
I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call. 877-600-GANG. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here. And it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. You know, when I, I get so angry at the Federal Reserve, and also I get very angry at our Senate and House Banking Committees, especially our House Banking Committee, that Marxist Waters, Maxine Waters, she's a nutcase. They didn't care, and their job is to care. That's their job. The Federal Reserve with its mandates. You got the House and Senate Banking Committee. They're there to watch over us, make sure. Make sure that we're on a sound footing. What are you, nuts? And the people that they send to the Federal Reserve are so dangerous. Remember, it has no accountability. And everything they do at the Federal Reserve is to make sure the wealthy get wealthier. And that's why it's so important, please. When the market starts to correct itself, whether it's 20, 30, whatever, please be in a position that you can just sell short. So easy to do. Please just call 877-600-GANG or go to my website and just... Click ours says Working Investor Group, free for 10 days. And every day, 
The beautiful thing about this, we know a lot of you don't have time to come to class or learn. We understand that. That's why we have the color-coded chart. And every day at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock, Steve, who's the head of our education department, will post our portfolio, our actual portfolio of stocks. It's in our portfolio and tell you what to do with each one of them. So when you get home at night, just follow his instructions and you'll be fine. Goldman Sachs got crushed today on earnings, and this is exactly why last week I said don't add anything here because we didn't, we weren't sure where it's going to go. Well, we're still right over yellow down here. Our daily still at the bottom. So he, so, so you, every day, he takes our portfolio. He goes over each stock, just choose from the portfolio, and at night you finish dinner, go to your laptop, whatever, and say, "Where? Right, what should I be doing with Goldman Sachs?" He'll tell me. You don't have to go to class if you don't want. You don't have to learn how to short. As long as you're in our portfolio, following our portfolio, and doing exactly what he tells you to do, what's wrong with that? Now, if you want to learn, that's a different story. We have the best educational platform I know of, the best charts, the best teaching, Thirty nine ninety five a month. What are you, nuts? Thirty nine ninety five a month. We've had that same price since 2001. You know why? Because you want to keep enough room so we do make money that just give some money to St. Jude. We want you to have enough room so you can take one of our charts. Take one of our charts that's going to help you. So by not raising our prices... Since 2001, we give you enough room that you can add that chart, like the color-coded chart tells you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, when not to add, when to run like hell. Best of all, position yourself short. What a difference it makes when stocks are like this and they start going down you're making money. But also another thing that's wonderful, it identifies for you the stocks that are strong, like today. I went over some of our what we call relative-strength stocks. Market's down 530 points. And our oil stock is going up, CVX. Our Caterpillar is going up. So think how strong those stocks are. Amgen, strong, going up. Merck, going up. How about our rig? Or OIH ETF for all the oil drillers and, and, and everything associated with oil drilling and... and uh, you know, the whole service of, of, of oil service, thank you, oil services, especially refiners. So you're covered. So you, you never, and then you never have to worry, like the banks. Our members knew that these banks weren't going to go up just because the yields were going up. But let's get back. Let's get back to this Federal Reserve, how stupid they are, because they don't care about us. You know, with all this inflation going on, they're trying to take with, yep, that's right, Bernie Sanders, Maxine Waters, all the Marxists who are part of the Democratic Party, they're in cahoots with the Federal Reserve. They want to take the money from our banks and put it to Federal Reserve and close our banks down. That's right. That's their goal. So to do that, they have to get certain people on the board to take control of our money to be able to do that. If they don't get certain people on the board, they, they, they can't do that. So listen to this. This, this, was, this is what really gets me right here. They, this is the gal that they're trying to put on the board to be the controller of currency so she can make that happen. See, even Congress can't make that happen. So she makes the decision to get rid of the banks and to shift our money over so we lose total control. So the Federal Reserve, imagine the Federal Reserve having our money. Oh, my God. But whoever takes control and how they take control, the controller of currency. So who do they put on? They try to get through Bernie Sanders and Maxim, a, a communist. Here, listen, listen to this. You used to be a member of a group called 
the young communist, didn't you? Senator, uh, are you referring to my membership in the youth communist organization while I was growing up in the Soviet Union? No. We're talking about when you went to a Girl Scout camp, you idiot. Unbelievable. Can you imagine? Now, Biden didn't put her there. Biden doesn't even know the time of day. He's not even involved with the government anymore. Can you imagine the Marxists and the Democrats would put her a communist? So that, thank God, thank God for Kennedy and others that she didn't get, she didn't get the nomination. But, but listen to the stupidity. Next, they're going to put, and you ever hear the statement, you're so smart, you're stupid? This one should be in the dictionary. Her picture should be over a saying that says, she's so smart, you know, you're so smart, you're stupid. Listen to this. Her name is Lael Brainerd. She was nominated to take over. Powell. Now imagine, she was nominated to take over for Powell. Listen to this girl. Oh, my God. You, are you saying that inflation was caused by the pandemic? So we certainly have seen um, the uh, perpetuation, for instance, of the Delta variant uh, leading to... Yes, star- yes, ma'am, but are you saying that the inflation is caused by the pandemic? I certainly think the supply-demand imbalances that have been the biggest contributors um, to the very high inflation we've seen are directly attributable to supply chain issues, distortions in demand. Well, well but... Here's what troubles me about that. Um, I'll I'll agree that inflation is spreading, but I don't see people going around coughing inflation on each other. Uh, I I think, uh, and I understand supply chains matter, but so does the demand side, and so does too much money chasing too few goods. And, and, uh, I don't think, and I don't think any fair-minded person thinks that inflation is solely the result of the pandemic. And it isn't. It isn't. This woman, think about it. She's an American economist. She's, she's serving now on the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. She's been there since 2014. She previously served as, as United States Undersecretary of Treasury of International Affairs. I, this is unbelievable how stupid she is. And this is the danger you have with the Federal Reserve. They want to put somebody on there that's stupid so they can control. This is unbelievable. Join my gang free for 10 days, please. Learn how to short. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Short on time. Time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you, for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG. Try it for 30 days, thirty nine ninety five. Follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you to start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 
That's 877-600-4264. Did you know breast cancer kills 113 people every day? That's unacceptable. African-American women die from breast cancer nearly 41% more than Caucasian women. That's unacceptable. Breast cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women. Breast cancer is unacceptable. Together with Susan G. Komen, we're committed to reducing U.S. breast cancer deaths by half. And we're going to do it by 2026. Visit Komen.org slash unacceptable. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, worse ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today free for 10 days. What if you could have an in-depth understanding of the stock market just like the pros? Well, thanks to Phil Grandy and philsgate.com, you can. Philsgang.com offers comprehensive, up-to-date market information designed to help you understand and anticipate market behavior. With Philsgang.com, you'll build your investing confidence even through down cycles and periods of uncertainty. Go to Philsgang.com. Philsgang.com today. 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. And hey, welcome back to Phil's Gang. Okay, so the banks are getting slaughtered with high, high yields. People are scratching their heads. How could that be? Well, I told you earlier in the show because the banks have had it because they know for 14 years they've been carrying all these bad businesses and corporate debt is so high right now because they never let the banks go into a recession and clean up the bad banks, get rid of them, just stay with the good banks. And for 14 years, they've been driving this whole market, driving this whole market, these banks, with their low, low, low rates. And then, of course, they've been printing money, and the Federal Reserve keeps printing money, printing money, printing money, and, 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 and they kept driving the tech business, the tech stock rally. Unbelievable. So the point is they put these dopes, and I, I don't want to spend too much time on her, but think of what they're going to put her in place of Powell. I, I, somebody finally came to their senses. Now think about this. This woman graduated from Wesleyan. Do you see how stupid she sounds? I never heard anybody sound so stupid as her. But she's a graduate from Wesleyan University. She received the master's and doctorate degree in economics from Harvard. She got the Alexander Hamilton Award for her services at the Department of Treasury, was awarded the Harvard G GSAS, I guess full of gas, she must fart in class or something, the uh, Centennial Medal, and the New York Association of Business, they gave her the Butler Award. Can you imagine? This is the stummy. So smart she's stupid. Now, Here's what she's, here's what she's uh, uh, working on right now. She serves on the uh, Federal Reserve's administrative governor, uh, as administrative governor. She's chair of the Committee on Financial Stability. She's the chair on the Committee of Federal Reserve Bank Affairs. She's the chair of the Committee on Consumer and Community Affairs. She's the chair on Committee of Payments, Clearing and Settlements. And she's the chair on the subcommittee on the smaller regional and community banking organizations. And she's going to be ahead of the, see what see my point. They don't care who they they put anybody there that can control. Now listen to this. This is nuts. Listen to this. I feel as if inflation is transitory. Now transitory is a is a, is a very gray opaque word. 
I still think we're in that transitory category. And if inflation starts to die down, then Chairman Powell is not going to be hard pressed to do anything. He's and not going to raise rates. He's not going to clear the balance sheet. And, and that would be good for the market, right? All of this all at once. That'd be good for the market, huh? That'd be good for the market. Huh? Give me a quote. And here's Powell. It's probably a good time to retire that, that uh, word and try to explain more clearly what we mean. Yeah, it's yeah, I would think so, Powell. We've had high inflation for 14 years. Here's why. And here's why the banks are in big trouble. In 2008, when the banks were failing, and they wouldn't put them into a recession, clean them up, get rid of the bad banks. They brought in what they call robo money, emergency bank loans, the Federal Reserve, printing money. Over $100 trillion has kept these banks alive between 2008 and 2021. These banks are all fake. They're fake, just like the Federal Reserve. Over $100 trillion to prop them up. And then, Printing more money. QE1, QE2, the twist, QE3. Then in 2013, after the QE ended in 2012, here, here's where all this inflation is coming from. Here's the inflation coming, not, not from the, the docks and holding up the, the shipments. Are you nuts? From printing money. They started to taper again. $85 million a month. But guess what? They cut it back at $85 million. It failed after about eight months. So they went right back to printing a whole bunch of money again to get interest rates down to zero. 2014, they were printing money like crazy. 2015, Yellen gets worried about inflation. She raises rates five times. December, she starts. 2015, 2016, 2017. Trump comes into office. Powell says, oh, boy, look at this. We're okay now. We're going to cut taxes. So I'm going to announce we're going to raise rates. We're going to taper back and raise rates. What happened? We had a big crash, 20%. Boom. Why? Because of Yellen's five rate hikes. It didn't work. And by then, the yield was at 300 points. The market crashed 20%, uh, 30, uh, 20% 2018. More printing of money. $22 trillion. They printed $22 trillion to get yields from uh, 300 down to 55 basis points so they could run the big tech stocks up again. Then when the, when the yields hit 190, the market crashed again. February 2020 went down 31%. They said, oh, that's COVID. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was the trigger, but it was the printing of money. March, at the end of the crash, Powell prints another $18 trillion to get the yields down from 190 down to 55, so we get a big rally. He pushes another rally after he printed all this money. The, money, the rally shot up 30%. But guess what? There's no earnings. They were negative. You don't need earnings anymore. It's all about yields. Biden gets inaugurated. Comes in January 2021. Market continues the rally. Guess what? It went up 21%, but no earnings. Minus 31%, the earnings. I mean, this is crazy. And so here we are, November of 2021, tech stocks, due to all this printing and inflation, this is where it's coming from, from printing all this money for the past 14 years to keep the yields low, to rally the tech stocks. Now the market's rejecting the tech stocks and the market rejecting the bank stocks. They don't know what the hell to do with themselves right now. He doesn't know what to do. None of those people know what to do. The Federal Reserve has always been wrong. It's always been wrong. It's never been right ever. They don't know. They're looking at each other like they're, they're, they're stupid people. Here, if you don't believe me, listen, listen to this again. You, are you saying that inflation was caused by the pandemic? So we certainly have seen um, the uh, perpetuation, for instance, of the Delta variant uh, leading to... Yes, yes ma'am, but are you saying that the inflation is caused by the pandemic. I certainly think the supply demand imbalances that have been the biggest contributors. Um. She's an idiot. She is not. What I just went through with you is massive inflation. And now what? Though the plunger team's going to be in here probably tomorrow morning. We're going to wake up. 
We close down today about 578 points, 600 points. Tomorrow morning we wake up, probably the market will be up 300, 200. You know how they work it. The plunger team will go in, push it back up, then it'll fail again. You just got to be patient. And please, if you don't want to learn, you don't want to take time to learn, then why don't you at least join the gang for 10 days free, see how it works. And then all you have to do is when this market is going down, just go to our portfolio. We posted at 2 in the afternoon. And just select an ETF or a stock. And do exactly what you're told. For the first time, you'll be making money. The people with fall on case are going to get slaughtered again. Slaughtered. Because you're not allowed to short. 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-GANG. Try for 10 days free. See what a difference it makes. And then at the same time, you're going to find wonderful stocks that aren't going down. Those are called relative strength stocks. And we'll have you in those stocks. The best, like today, I picked out some beautiful relative strength stocks for our members today. Beautiful. Market's going down. 500 points in these stocks are going up. Look. What has destroyed this country, okay, where we are today, is the Federal Reserve, owned and operated by the wealthiest people in the country, wealthy, who don't give a damn about Main Street. And these jibber-jabbers that you hear every day, these stupid, stupid people that you hear every day tell you how strong consumers are. are you, this is the stupidest thing I ever heard. And at the end of the day, the consumer looks immensely strong, so much so that many people are willing to quit their jobs. They've got so much in savings. It's a remarkable situation, Hadley. It kind of reminds me. Yeah, remarkable. Everybody can retire. Look, the stock market is the best place in the world to be, especially when this market crashes or even corrects. Give yourself just, just a little time. That's all. Check it out. It's free for 10 days. You got it free for 10 days. And just help the kids of St. Jude when you start making money. That's all. 877-600 gang. Free for 10 days. You have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to me.